Welcome to this uh, first AppV5 tutorial session designing and preparing for AppV5 server installation. Uh, before we start installing AppV, we need to design and prepare con and configure the AppV environment. I have already designed the environment here for, for these uh, sessions. Uh, we're going to run uh, this uh, past next few uh, next few sessions and uh, these are the servers that we're going to use I have one AD server uh, which we will going to use, uh, use uh, for uh, authentication and both to the app v management site and also the access to the software so, we, so we're going to use uh, groups for that the SQL server uh, is for the app v management uh, console, uh, the publishing uh, information and also the reporting server. Uh, so we need to install SQL reporting uh, as for the SQL server. Uh, then we need to uh, configure the firewall ports on the SQL. The app, app v server, uh, we're going to uh, configure the ports which will be used for the management server and uh, the publishing and reporting server we need to configure the firewall uh, as for install uh, required components uh, such as .NET, IIS and etc to uh, finish uh, to, pre to prepare the uh, installation so app we can install then we're going to uh, use one app v client. Uh, going to install the app v client uh, on the on the client here, and we're going to uh, get some applications uh, on that server from the app v server. The sequencer we're going to sequence applications on it, and I'll also show you how you can. Uh, prepare uh, the sequencer on uh, Hyper-V so you can use the same machine again and again without uh, recreating, recreating the, the, the machine. Uh, the sequencer requires that the machine is, uh, is uh, clean and has some services disabled so so take a look at that in the uh, next sessions. The environment here is based on Hyper-V. Uh, I'm running it on Windows 8, just my uh, local machine. And uh, so just let's start uh, preparing the, uh, the environment. So these are the servers here. And, uh, Open them here. We start by going into the AD server and Active Directory. And here we create the uh, groups that we will uh, use to to manage users. So first, uh, I'm going to create a group named AppV Admins, and it's a security group global. I'm going to add the administrator which is the user I'm using now uh, basically you should use your own user uh, based on or based on your security uh, security requirements at your company then we're going to create uh, uh, an OU here called App V Software App V Software and we're going to create a group here named Fire Firefox App V Firefox App V Software Firefox global uh, and 
the group type is uh, security. I click OK here. Uh, it's user based, so we're going to use administrator for that. So this is basically the software we're going to sequence later in the tutorial sessions. So now I have uh, I have finished uh, adding the groups. Uh, later on, I will create more groups in uh, next sessions for for the uh, the task, tasks which we're going to do then. Then we're going to the uh, SQL server, and the only thing we need to do here uh, for preparation is we need to go to the uh, as you can see, I've already installed the SQL server. I'm going to configure the firewall. So, I've already done that here. It's the port 441433. So, we can access uh, the SQL databases. Next thing we need to do is go to the app v server and install the uh, first we can do open the ports so in this uh, session or the uh, ports we're going to use are uh, 80 for the management server uh, 81 for the publishing server and 82 for the reporting server. So just click on the firewall here. So we create a new rule here. Port. TCP and we separate it by comma. Allow the connection domain private and public at the server ports eighty. Server. Uh, just going to try to enter a description here. Eighty one publishing server, eighty two reporting server. Uh, you need to install these. Uh, application share for the for so the app v server can work properly i've already downloaded them from the uh, from the microsoft website uh, you can download microsoft microsoft visual c++ 2010 x86 and also x64 let's just start installing that and also the server light for the management console because the app we runs on on silver light well the console is running so we will read the license agreement and accept the license terms Hit install that's finished and the 64 Version. We'll read the license agreement, accept the license terms, and install. And then the silver light. Enable the update and close here. Now we need to. Uh, Install the IIS. So we go to the uh, 
the uh, server manager. And click on add roles and features. So that's the finish it's collecting some data. Okay. Still working. Let's wait a few. Okay. Add roles and features. Click on next. Role based feature based installation. Yeah, this is the server we're going to configure. And then we're going to select role. This is the web server IS. Now we can install the application server here and select the components there. That's the .NET framework. Click on next and next. Then we're going to select the uh, role services that are required for for uh, app v server so just select the uh, common features uh, this one uh, and this one must be enabled uh, share windows authentication application development Happy ASP.net at features ASP. I'm not sure about the just add that and see. Web dev publishing. So I think it's basically it. Okay, we have all the required components and click on next and next. This is just fine here and next. Restart the destination server automatically if required. Okay, you can, uh, if the computer is connected to the uh, internet, you can just click on install and uh, uh, it will get the setup files from Windows. Uh, or you can specify an alternative source. Uh, this is the basically for the .NET framework. So we can just type in the, uh, the source here. So I will type in the path for the for the CD, which is this one here. The source is SXS. Paste it here and click on OK. And click on install. This would take a few moments and I'll get back to you when it's finished. So the installation is completed here. So just click on close. And then the uh, AppV uh, server is now ready for AppV server installation. But we'll go there in uh, the next uh, sessions. So uh, we have done all the uh, required uh, configuration for for uh, for the software side but we need to create a directory for the for the uh, sequenced packages so i'm just going to create a directory here called content and i'm going to share it I'm going to use the advanced sharing 
I'm going to use a dollar sign to hide the share. Permissions to everyone. And I'm going to use the security for the NTFS security to configure the, the security of the for the uh, server. So I'm just going to click on use app V software Firefox. Um, now I'm just going to use every everyone here now for read and execute. But this is only to uh, for testing. Uh, but in your environment, you should use a subgroup to which can read the directory for the users. It's not recommended to use everyone. Okay, and now we're finished with this session. Uh, I'll be back with uh, uh, another session on installing the AppV server. Uh, thanks for watching.